We are very enthusiastic about the, the draft today, and uh, so far, uh, how has been your experience with the Knicks? It's been great so far. Um, just really enjoying being around the guys, enjoying just kind of, you know, working out. So, you know, just trying to get to know everybody. Tina? RJ, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's another former Duke athlete that's really been in the news the past couple of weeks here with uh, Daniel Jones. Um, and he's had quite a start to his rookie career. A couple questions. How well did you know him through the athletic system? Do you guys talk? And can you live up to his first two uh, rookie starts <laughs> I've never I've never actually spoken to him because you know just the ca the way campus and our schedules were set up never really spoke to him but you know I'm really happy and really excited to see that that he's doing well I mean, if you watch me at Duke, you know, whatever coach needs, I got you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just getting back to Daniel. Did you ever go to Duke football games at all during your career there? Or, I mean, was that a big thing for the students? Or? As a team, we, we went to a, a Duke football game. I had a good time. They won, so it was good. I, I, do you want to go to a giant game or? I would love to go to a Giants game. Adam? Hey, RJ, how you doing? Um, Coach, Coach uh, K said that Coach Fisdale invited him to training camp. Uh, has Coach K mentioned that to you at all? What, what would it mean to you and the team if Coach K were to come here? It would be cool, you know, to see Coach. I always love enjoying I always enjoy talking to Coach and seeing him around. So, you know, it would be cool if he came. Tommy. RJ, you uh, have been playing with guys kind of pick up and whatnot. Is there one player that's kind of stood out to you as an impressive? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody could play. Rich, as, as you start your first season, what do you think is the biggest challenge that you'll have to face initially in taking the court as an NBA player? Just getting used to it. Um, you know, you, you go into a different level as pros, so just getting used to the, to the NBA, really. Is there one thing in particular you want to accomplish this training camp? Is there one thing that you want to work on the most? Nah, I just really want to just come in and learn. You know, come in, you know, a young guy, and just you know, try to compete. Brian? <laughs> Your last preseason game against the New Orleans, uh, you and Tyon talked about you're going to see each other again so soon, and I uh, think that'll be a little more fun than your average uh, preseason game. We actually haven't talked about it. It's weird. We don't really talk about basketball too much like that. But uh, I mean, it'll be fun to play against. Steve, some of the veteran guys were already talking about that they want to take a leadership role with the younger guys. Is that starting already? Is the pickup stuff you start hearing things in your ear from these guys? Definitely got to learn from the older guys. They they know what to do. So you know, we definitely appreciate their their leadership, and we need it. Jay, uh, do you take ice baths? And if so, do you remember the first time you felt emotionally? Is it a pain in the butt to get in that cold water? I definitely take ice bath every day. Um, you get used to it. You hate it at first, but it makes your body feel better in the long run. Who started you on it? I really started to do it consistently at Duke. Yeah. Mark? Uh, RJ, you said like everyone can play on this team. When you're the number three pick, and with that comes with a lot of expectations. Do you wish, like, maybe you know, fans would temper themselves? Because you're the most famous player on the team, really, right now. I mean, how do you handle that with so much expectation for you, even as a rookie? I don't care. I'm just going to go in and play basketball. That's, about, that's all I can do. Next one. Um, have you watched Frank Davis and her? And do you think you guys can do the fighting role in the court? Sorry, say that again. Did you watch Frank play this summer? And uh, how much <coughs> compatibility can you guys have? And you can answer in French people. I liked Frank when he played. Uh, they played the U.S. right, and he went to work that game. So, you know, he's definitely a great talent, and uh, you know, we, sh we should play well together. RJ, um, how much have you enjoyed the everything that you've done leading up to this? Because you know, I, last year you were you embraced the moment, embraced the challenge. Now you're here, the, the media is going to be like this constantly. Is 
is the challenge the thing that you're most looking forward to? Just everything that comes with it. Basketball, the games, the expectations, the hype? I'm looking forward to playing basketball. That's it. Like, you know, all the media stuff and everything, it, it doesn't ha really happen without, you know, playing the game. So I'm just looking forward to just playing the game that I love. Chris. Coach Fisdale mentioned that he's going to be tough on you, maybe even tougher than Kevin Knox. Are you ready for that challenge, knowing that he's more taking, that everything has to be earned and not given? I want Coach to be tough on me. You know, that's, that's the only way, you know, uh, I feel like if you're pushed, and you know you have a tough coach that's on you. It's it's gonna make you play better, and uh, I feel like I'll learn faster that way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN Plus.